Hey everybody, Rick Need of Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club in Southern California on Thursday afternoon, July the 22nd, and this is my Equibase Major Track Report. Of course, Saratoga opens tomorrow, so I'll be covering both Del Mar and Saratoga in these evening uh, YouTube videos, but let's focus on race 4, 3.30 p.m. Pacific post time. Six furlong sprint on Del Mar's cushion track, maiden fillies and mares, three years old and up, race for a claiming purse of $20,000. Contenders number eight, Halloween Candy, number one, Haunted Highway, number four, Genio, and number two, Lady Adele. Number eight, Halloween Candy, qualified is a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony is the overall speed leader in this maiden field. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt has nice early speed abilities to complement. She's a daughter of the Argentinian bred cider sire Candy Ride, whose progeny have hit the board in 49% of more than 1,200 combined lifetime starts to date. Jockey Joel Rosario and trainer Jerry Hollendorfer send her postward this afternoon. They've hit the board with 59% of more than 100 entries saddled as a team to date. Race 4 summary, number 8, Halloween Candy, tops the contenders list, which also includes number 1, Haunted Highway, number 4, Genio, and number 2, Lady Adele. 8142 in the 4th today from Del Mar. A couple of bonus long shots for you to ponder today. Let's go to Charlestown first, race six. Number nine, Matthews Pride, six to one in the morning line, qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony, drops in class by six units. Nice overall speed for this four and a half for a long sprint. Finger Lakes race course, upstate New York, race seven. Number four, Crafty Netty, four to one in the morning line, takes a slight class drop, good overall speed for this mile 70 yard route test on the dirt. So from Del Mar on a Thursday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.